taking up an individual Riviera Blue G80 M3 competition. All right, good morning, guys. So today is a day where we're gonna actually have some fun. We are actually in Greer, South Carolina. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're actually gonna be enjoying a BMW type of event. So what's gonna happen is we have Kevin, Corey, and Miguel downstairs, and we're gonna be going to the BMW Performance Center. Today is a combined day with BMW CCA. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna take a lot of footage. I'm also gonna showcase what you guys are missing out. All right, Mr. Kevin, tipped on tips, right? Tipped on tips. What is that? What can you say about BMW Mix event? So the MIX event, which I think is how it's properly announced, but don't ask me. It's formerly known as MX1. And essentially, because it's called MIX or Mix, it's a mix of all the various different BMWs in the community. So you got the M cars, you got the I cars, Namely, it's supposed to be towards the electric, the new electrics, but I like to think of it as the normal BMWs, and then the X cars. So, all of them come together for a mishmash. They've got a Cars and Coffee, you've got the Performance Center, you've got these all these various different one-off events that you can go and enjoy. So, you know, they got scenic tours, they've got museum tours, and everything else. So, should be a good time, and we'll see what it's all about. All right, so this definitely brings so up- this is where your car was in, like one yeah, of these? Yeah, this bay here. On the right, where that car is, two yeah. Bays? So Keys was next to me in this uh, X3. That was another bay. And this is the main entrance here. All right, so we just made it to the BMW Performance Center, and this is exactly where you guys saw last year when we picked up my G80 M3. So in a little bit, we're gonna kind of show you guys some B-roll. Which actually, you know, hit you guys some B-roll right now. So today we're at the BMW Performance Center and what we're going to be doing today is enjoying an event that's hosted by BMW CCA. This is an event that's been meticulously planned and something that you guys got to check out because if you guys didn't make it this year, definitely be a member of BMW CCA. It's one of the biggest car clubs in the world. Yeah, use code invasion. Right. And what we're going to be doing is driving a whole bunch of cars, enjoying it, learning about the platform. And uh, Miguel, what are you excited about? Listen, it's about the networking, of course, for us, right? It's about meeting people that you've met before. Here we're at the table with, you know, different walks of life. And we're excited to see people, familiar faces, of course, and about new experiences. So we're here at the CCA event, which is the mixed event. Hopefully we'll be back again next year. But stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of good footage for you. And we also have... BMW CCA member and also LA chapter, right? That's right. Okay, so this is awesome. We get behind, the cool thing about this is we get to hammer cars that aren't our cars. So we get to drive their cars and they'll tell you, drive it, it's not yours, work it, get to appreciate it, how powerful, how good the brakes can be, how it performs under adverse conditions, skid pad, control situations, uh, time trials, all sorts of fun. We're doing some off-road stuff too. So uh, these performance center things are pretty, pretty fun, a lot of good time. Yeah, for this, and BMW CCA members for this gig, these are all members, 100 and some people here. CCA members, either at this performance center or the one in Thermal on the left coast, get 15% off these things all the time. In terms of clothes, uh, merch, uh, all the all the activities too. So it's good stuff. And you're probably gonna see more of him when we go to the invasion of Los Angeles. So stay tuned for that.
body weight on your brake pedal at the three orange cones once you are full throttle. From here into the double apex left hander, constant speed all the way through. Until you're able to unwind your steering wheel, that's when you're able to start adding gas pedal. Okay? So we're gonna incrementally start increasing speed here, nice and gently. But if I see someone dropping back, I will also have to slow my speed down, okay? Just make sure you're getting your eyes up through the corner. Keep your eyes where that vehicle needs to be next. Once your wheel is straight, full throttle, all the way down the back straight. Remember, three orange cones, pretty hard and heavy, full body weight on that brake pedal. Full body weight. Yeah, definitely hang on. <laughs> Shit. speed, constant speed through this corner, constant speed. Next event is going to be, we're actually going to be on the track. We're going to be on the track. We sat in the car with the instructor, but this portion is going to be right there. And from what I see right now, it's a lot of fun. I've been in the car with the instructor and that guy knows how to drive. So I'm going to test it out for myself and we'll see if I learned anything from the last time. So this is a good time to really feel the carbon buckets and it's holding me pretty well while Miguel uh, rips it on the track. Miguel's concentrating. Lab, he goes faster and faster and it sets the pace. These guys felt like I was. They were holding me up. How did it feel, though? It felt very controllable. I mean, in the passenger seat, it feels like you're more holy shit type moment. But when you're driving it, you definitely feel a level of confidence. Like I felt like I could have pushed more. And you could feel so, the back end kick out, but you had confidence to yeah. stick with it. Yeah. That's obviously with all the traction control on, because these cars are just so smart. All right, it's gonna be my time. Concentration, and we're gonna get going. You can definitely tell these buckets are like really worn out. Yeah, but let me tell you, even though they're worn out, I felt like it was holding me. Right? Yeah. Well, tell the people what you think. So, I think this experience is super. I'm glad we did it. I wish I would have done it before. I probably would have bought a G8X if I would have done this because definitely this brings a certain amount of enlightenment to the experience that you're like man yeah this is definitely worth buying this car is definitely well put together and i was bashing ken on one of his videos because he kept you know praising bmw but they did a great job with this car absolutely it should be fun it should be a lot of fun um i did this last time not in this specific track um every time you come to these events the livery center this event it's something slightly different but it's still the same um benefits of learning and actually taking to the track because a lot of people don't really understand the vehicle so much and what happens is it translates to them wrecking on the street and what happens is you end up on m3 list totaled all right drivers 
Are y'all ready? Thumbs up? All right, cool. The good thing is our first round was with him. Yeah. So I was able to, um, you know, see his footwork, where he was breaking, how he was not breaking in certain areas. And how areas. hard he was breaking. Yeah. It was like aggressive breaking. And I felt he was breaking harder than when I was driving. Did yeah, you feel it? Yeah, yeah. My, I, I probably have like scratch marks in the seatbelt. Yeah, and it's because the guy in front of me <laughs> went slow. So this first lap is like, you know, a, 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 an easy lap just to get familiar with the track. Um, once again, you're breaking wherever the three cones are, or you're starting to break where the three cones are. All right, driver, so we're always breaking at the three orange cones, no later, okay? As we're breaking, we're looking into the corner, pointing your nose towards the yellow cone. So once again, okay. really when you're doing corners, you're not supposed to be breaking when you're doing corners, right? So it's good to be in a gear in this um, around here. Down the back straight, you will be full throttle as your next turn is breaking. So, breaking at the three orange cones, push your full right away into that brake pedal. Carbon tracks feel good. Are breaking, what's that? Next Should I got them? Right yeah, absolutely. Right Definitely need carbon tracks. Right I was being cheap. Yeah. Watch the cones to the right hand side. Alright, down the back straight, once you're feeling straight, let's be full throttle. It seems like it's faster in the passenger seat car five, by car. far. Yeah. I feel like I was going slow. <laughs> yeah. It felt like you were going fast here. All right, so this is going to be a skid pad. This is basically you're trying to compete with your opponent on the track, and you're trying to catch up to them by going around this oval track. So this is going to be a good time. You see some of the B-roll already. Oh, here's a spin-out. There we go. So, would you say you have some experience with drifting, Miguel? Yes, I would say I have some experience with drifting. I rallied for about two years, which is not drifting. Um, but some of these guys are really going sideways. Yeah. All right, 
Colt 5 definitely has the lead. Mm-hmm. Not much before. This is going to be the last lap. Alright, both of you go ahead for the win. <laughs> stop, 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 car three. Alright, stop there, uh, car three. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, So as you can see, it's well, actually, wait. it's a little bit difficult than what you think it is. Go ahead, pull in car three, yes, sir. All right, let's go. I've driven it before my Subaru way back in the day. It's definitely you need a few tries at it before you can say, okay, yeah. I'm going to do it. So Kenny almost lost it, but he recovered it, it, so it's good. Same good. So basically the driving portion of this weekend event is done. Um, we took you guys across many different, you know, portions of it, right? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section what was your favorite. I definitely think driving the M3s on the track, that was pretty insane. Um, and I'm not a drifter. Miguel's not a drifter. So we definitely had some time learning what the cars can do, right? When you take track control fully off. Um, also too, driving the two series, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun basically experiencing what that platform does. Um, but if you guys haven't really thought about coming to this event, you have to. What do you think about the event so far? The event's been everything I thought it would be. First time here? No. No? Okay, so. Been here before. Been here a few times already. And right now, too, when you guys come to this event, they give you catered food. So, all this delicious food. Corey's just getting here. Corey's got some good food, too. Yeah, actually, we haven't seen him all day. Yeah, I saw you guys for like two seconds this morning. Yeah, he just did. All right, so we're here at the MIX event with BMW CCA. I'm here with Greg, yep. right? And he's picking up an individual Riviera Blue G80 M3 Correct. competition. Competition X Drive. Okay, yes. so he's gonna enjoy it, and we're basically, I'm just walking by, pick up some stuff. You will probably know in a future video. Thank you. Thank there you go. But um, again, are you excited about your car? Oh my God, I'm thrilled. Turn the camera that way and you can watch it coming in. Oh, it's coming in? Oh, it's coming okay. in. Oh, I see it right there, yeah. How'd you go with the rear mirror blue? Uh, couple reasons. I, I learned to like bright colors, okay. right? So I had a frozen blue G82. Okay. Love that car. Yeah. And I don't know if you know who Lucky Girl is. She's yeah. a mint green M3. Yep. Her and I are very good friends. Yep. And she's like, you got to get this your car. Your car's coming in right now. Yes. That's yours. Yes, that's it. How's the feeling? So, oh, it's exciting. Yeah, it's totally exciting. The best part is you're taking delivery at one of the best spots you can take delivery at, you guys. Yeah. The whole experience, you know, the with the way that the staff treats you, and then look at that. And it's so much fun. Exactly. I, I, we had a blast this morning. So my son and I will come back for the yeah. M school too. We'll okay. do that. There be you go. Thing to do. Oh my god. How's that look? Oh, wow, that's great. Are you gonna PPF it? Yeah, so it's getting PPF'd. I'm actually going to do what you did, where I'm going to track wrap it, get okay. it home. There you go. And then uh, it's going right to Thompson BMW. There you go. We're going to paint all the lowers color okay. matched. We'll start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, I've been wow. just so excited about this. Yeah. Well, Greg, one thing I can notice right away, you lost the tire lottery. 
Oh, oh. That's all right. You know what? There's a set of bricks things going on. Oh, there you go. Which will have Michelin. So, Greg, congratulations on your 2024, you. right? 2023 yeah. G83 in yeah. Riviera Blue, yeah. and it looks absolutely incredible. It does, man. I, I hope that color picks up on the camera because what what is here? It's, it's, it's yeah, I know. Nice. And how many months did you have to wait? So I got the allocation in July of last year. Ran into a couple snags with the, you know with the process, but uh, yeah. So July until now. So almost 12 months. Yeah. Almost 12 about. months. It was totally worth it. Yeah. And I had a G82, so okay. I was happy. So you were having fun anyway. Right. But for right. the people that are waiting patiently, what can you tell them? Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Yeah. And Definitely. keep watching videos online because that's going to help ease the pain of the wait. Look, you, you always said this before, right, in some of your videos, is that um, it's about the community, too. Yeah, yeah. So this brand, the community, the vehicle itself, yeah. what you get for the money, I think, is totally worth it. Yeah, I can't compare it to any other brands, because I think with the support from, you know, aftermarket parts, there's a lot of aftermarket parts. I don't know how it is with Mercedes or Audi. I think Audi does have a good support group, but BMWs, they have a really, really big support group with modifications. And the main thing, like you just said, and I always say, is the community behind it, right? Yeah, so. that's great. We need a lot of friends here. Oh, of course. Of friends. So Greg, it was nice meeting yeah, you. I'm gonna get too, some footage man. of your car, so enjoy that footage right oh, now. Great. It's pretty cool walking around, meeting people that watch the vlog, and today's been like that. And I'm able to showcase some people that's been on the vlog, which is, uh, again, I always enjoy those conversations. So thank you for reaching out and also letting me know you support the channel, so thank you. All right, so we are just leaving this event. We're gonna be back here tomorrow for a cars and coffee type of event. So stay tuned for that. This is gonna be an event for all the members, and then we'll get some footage, right? Yep, we'll absolutely get some footage. There's gonna be like three, 400 cars or so, and then a few vendors, so. You know, we'll be networking, meeting a bunch of people that we've talked to online. It's going to be a good time. And we're also going to be talking to Esteban, which is M Chapter president. And we'll yep. get a little bit more insight about the club and also um, what this event's about. It's about talking to people. And it's more about the community, like I said multiple times. Because the BMW community is one of the best communities out there.